Hey guys, Todd from Brother Man Gaming here with my review of Kirby Star Allies. I know this came out late. I recently just picked this up. I uh, picked it all up on the same haul that I picked up uh, Burnout Paradise and the NES Classic Edition. I've now had time to sit and play through the game and complete it, so I figured I'd do my review. Uh, uh, just so a note, I've spent most of my time on the on handheld version of it in handheld mode not on docked and it doesn't drain the battery too quick I find I think you get about three three and a half hours in the battery I the only reason I have 73 percent is I just don't have what are known no known as the puzzle pieces you need to get to complete pictures I'll show you what I mean in a second here These are the puzzle pieces you're collectible. You'll find them in stage. You have to repeat a lot of stages to go get them up. So, and there's a second stage here, so it's not the tutorial. It still has some tutorials, but not as many. The nice thing is, is it's got this thing since like Return to Dreamland where you can have three allies. But you can do that when you're playing single player. You just throw the X to throw a heart at them. So right now I could technically suck up the sword guy there or throw a heart and make him sword sword himself. Stick as normal Kirby for just a quick second. And as you may notice from the life counter, I'm over a hundred lives. I haven't lost that many. It's easy to get lives in this game. Nope. Didn't want to kill that guy. Let's go back. Okay. Now I'm water. -cooled. The nice thing is I can hit up. If I had a weapon, I could have one of my allies give an element. But since my sword ally there had an, I could give the water element to him to increase his attack and get for extra bonuses to get puzzle, uh, solve some puzzles, to get picture pieces. So, yeah stage here. You can also, you can have up to three allies with you and you can have drop in and drop in. Drop in and out co-op which is very handy. So you, can, you can have, if you've got tons of friends, if you've got friends over, you got two Joy-Cons automatically to switch so if you've got another Pro Controller or another set of Joy-Cons, you're set. You can unlock dream palaces as you go along because you can also unlock dream extra stages here. So you get extra characters from beating through worlds. You can also you gain some from DLC. The one I'm just going to show you is DLC. It, oh, not the one I wanted. But oh well. Marks is one of the DLC. So I can. So even the. The one I wanted to go for was Rick and Company from Dreamland 2, and I think they're going to make a cameo in Dreamland 3 as well, because they give you the different elements. They have uh, rock base, water, and wind. Uh, no, rock, rock, water, or is it fire, fire, water, and wind, which is helpful. But the new different characters, you get uh, Spider Kirby, and I think Yo-Yo are the new ones for this game. The nice thing is, is you can pick your stages here, but instead of walking to them, I can hit Y, and then just go between the different worlds, the second world here, and just pick a stage. Take me straight there, which is not... And then you can use little warps here to get to back to the previous world or the next world, which is handy. Uh, the game is probably about six hours, give or take, if you're going for collection. It's not too hard to collect everything. They're pretty good about giving you the pat right power-ups when you need You just... If they if they make you fight a boss and he's left over that you can suck him up, nine times out of ten it's worth picking up his power because it's needed for a puzzle room coming up right at the end. Definitely... It's fun. I've played this multiplayer only with two physical people, but it, it is well worth it, especially since the, a is not bad. the AI isn't bad, but it's not the greatest. Sometimes it'll take a little longer with the AI than 
if you had a buddy there that's just going to be like, oh, okay, you need me to do this? I'll do that. So, yeah. I definitely, if you're a Kirby fan, recommend it. Um, if you're not a Kirby fan, I don't think this is for you, but you have. But it's not too bad on difficulty for those that are young kids. It's, I, I, I think you'll be fine, and you don't need to worry about There's not too much collect. There's just one major puzzle piece in every level that you can always go back for, and a switch in some of them that unlock the Dream Palace of the World which is what I showed you getting the allies or an extra stage here or there. Right. I think that's enough for now. Yeah. I'd like to hear your thoughts. What did you, if you guys have played the game, did you like it? Did you not like it? What are your thoughts? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to us on YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to us on Twitch, or follow us on Twitch. It's been Tyler from Berlin Mini Gaming. See you guys. See you guys next time. Bye.